Coming up on Rutgers Reno. Local art and culture all come together when a former vault is transformed into my sacred space, the ultimate music room. And I meet up with Charleston-based musicians as well as renowned painter, Jonathan Green. Hey y'all, I'm Darius Rucker and I invite you to join me on a very special project. I'm renovating my historical home in my favorite city in the world, Charleston, South Carolina. I take great pride in being your private guide through this bustling, vibrant city. While phases of construction are being completed, we'll be exploring Charleston and experiencing just a few of the amazing people, places, and things that make me truly love this city. Grab a seat or a hammer and come on in to Rutgers Red. Man, watch your step, you guys. Oh, goodness. All right, thank you. <laughs> There you go. It's a big jump. This was the vault where they kept all the christening records the oh. church did. And it had a big door on it when we first got it. Oh, wow. That's so thick right there, yeah. What do you guys think about this being like a music room where I, you know, not like a room that people come in, but for me recording and stuff like that? Yeah, well, look at these walls. It's kind of a natural. Exactly. It's already wow. acoustically isolated. Yeah. And look at this, you could put some more uh, windows in here. I like that more light. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Do a little garden in the back. What do you think about the height of the floor? Are we going to raise it or just keep it like that for the headroom? I think I would carry it straight across yeah, to simplify, too. get our window so It looks like we can go up a lot higher now. Yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah, it does. And your view, by the way, is pretty yeah. beautiful Yeah, I mean, out here. you'll put a window here and you've got that, the, the view of the, it's just beautiful. Yeah, and then the master bath above. Yeah, I think this would be a perfect music room. <laughs> Unless you wanted to go full, full height ceiling. <laughs> no, I'm good. Is it better acoustics to go all the way up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never designed a music room. For me, you know, the music room is going to be so important because I'll be there so much. So I can't wait to see what we do with this because this room is going to be, for me, just very important. And, you know, right now I'm looking at the, I call it the vault, but I can't wait to see what we do. Yeah. I can't wait to hear what you play. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> The architectural plan for the music room, we're going to have to rebuild the floor, a system above, which will be the master bathroom, build this floor system up so that it matches with the main house. So this will be a great place for recordings and collaboration. We want to use um, the existing walls, which are really beautiful. We can add some heavy plaster to that to really add age to the room. I'd like to do a big antique rug. This room also has to be functional. So we'll be working with CDW to bring in some technology that Darius will need to collaborate. I think we'll also need um, a couple comfortable chairs, somewhere for him to lounge while he's working. This is the music room, so I think we can hang some of Darius's guitars and albums and awards, which I think would look really cool in this space. For the music hall, which is leading up to the music room, this is a transition from one space. I think we use this as our opportunity to put in some, a bar for refreshments and kind of a cool hangout space for whoever Dee is collaborating with. I completely agree. I think we have a lot of wall space in here. We can integrate millwork, have some paneled built-ins as well as add a small wet bar, refrigerator, ice machine, whatever he needs. This is just a hallway, but I think we can make it really functional for Dee and anyone who he's working with in the music room. Design and architectural plans are all prepped for the music room. Before the team starts, I want to really get to know the space and what it was originally used for. So what makes this house different from all other properties is that it's on a triple lot, so three original city lots. But it's also the fact that this house has gone through this massive transformation in the Victorian period. It's one of few stone facades in the city because we don't have stone in South Carolina, we don't have stone in Charleston, for sure. So this is a really notable house architecturally, but also has an incredible presence on the street. I mean, what's important about preservation for a house like this is that craft that went into it, 
that history, the, the families, both the families that own the property and the enslaved that built these properties and lived on these properties. It's all tangible. It's all still here in the historic fabric. And so it's so important to preserve that. So it's great to see a project that comes at it with that understanding and approach. I think, you know, in talking with Darius, he obviously connects so strongly with this story, this history. But to be able to walk through and actually see it, to be able to put your hands on the materials, it's not just an abstract story. It's a real thing. And so he really connected with that, and I think that's really driving this project. So this space has been altered so much, it's kind of hard to tell what was happening back here. But what we know is during the 20th century, this was actually used as a vault, uh, which is evident by the incredible thick concrete and steel that you see all around us. But we're back in the footprint of what was the original kitchen building. Uh, but this is just one of those really interesting spaces that was very specific uh, for the use that was here during the 20th century and will certainly make a really interesting space once it's renovated. Did we ever talk about maybe trying to open this up? See if there's a fireplace behind here? If you remember, there was no opening. We thought there might be a fireplace there. Right. That means this was the we have a chimney. This has to be a fireplace. Sure. Do we have somebody that has a hammer and chisel? Hey guys! Good to see you. Nice to see you. Great to see you, sir. Yeah, How are you? Good, Good to, to be, see you. Good to be seen. Would you believe I lived in the next house Where? over there when I was a kid, right across the street? That one right street. there? I used to climb that tree right there when I was a little kid. I went to school right across the street at Cathedral School. That was my family church right there, the cathedral. Wow. This was my stomping ground, man. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So, Darius, I'm really interested in this because you know what I want to do. I want to play some music. I, I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. So, I love that. So tell me what this thing is going to be like, John. You're going to love this as a musician. You should, you should check Let's this. Let's go look at it. Yeah. 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 Cool. Let's go. Let's check it out. This used to be the vault. The vault. There was a big, thick door when we first got it and came in, and, and the floor was low, and it was, where I think, where they kept all the records and everything. But we were going to make it our music room. and. You know, like John has this great idea of, of doing stuff in here where you, you and I can get in here and we can jam and, you know, record wow. it and everything. It's just going to be, it's going to be perfect. I think it's going to be awesome. They kept the records in here, like my baptismal certificate? Yeah, I'm sure that was in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was in here. Oh, when, we came, when I came in, I couldn't believe the door that was on. It was, it was a vault. Yeah. yeah. I actually yeah. got a copy of it. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell anyone you're five years older than me. <laughs> so it's just the right size for an intimate um, um, acoustic set, right? Yes, absolutely. Right here. Uh, right here. And you wow. know, I have, a, I have my whole studio set up here so you can record anything you want. It, it'll yeah. be, yeah, it's, this is just the perfect room, I think, for music and to come in and write and to, to, to you know, play with other folks and everything, just entertain other musicians and stuff yeah. here and, and have a good time. I got a new song for you. Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. After talking to the mayor about the community, preservation, and history, some old friends came to mind and I had to go visit them.
Thanks for coming down, man. It's yeah, it's great you. to see you. I remember seeing you guys right here a long time ago. Oh too. man, yeah, it's been it's been a little while at this point, but it was good, some good times. Yeah, some good times. Yeah. Good to see you. I remember we were sitting t talking about this room. We're making a music room in this house and building. It just reminded me of the first time I saw you guys here at the Royal American. I remember just everybody in town. Every time I came into town, the band, everybody was telling me I need to see was Susto. You know, and now you guys are here based out of Charleston like I am. And you know, what, what made you guys want to be at Charleston, the call Charleston over? Well, first of all, thanks. The way the city like influences us it's just there's always that kind of like coastal vibe that I think is kind of like in there and and present in what we do and I think it's not just us too I think it's a lot of artists here find inspiration from being close to the ocean it's really cool it's almost like the city like lifted us up and was like we believe in you go do yeah. this you know so it's, it's a cool feeling that's what it was for us you know we used to play down on a Right off, of, right off of Market Street there, and there was this little bar that we'd play. I mean, I don't think the bar held 60 people. You know, and the first time we played there, there was 10. You know, the last time we played, it was 60. <laughs> and, you know, and, and that was, that was just, it made it worth it. We were banned eight years, nine years before we had a record deal. Wow. You know, and, and it, it, was, it was worth it because we were playing great places and having a great time. So we are getting ready to go out on tour, and uh, we're actually about to go have rehearsal. You want to come by the studio oh, man, and, and hang to. for rehearsal? I'd love to, man. Cool, let's awesome. do it. Let's go. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Oh, but sometimes I get down. Hey, then other times I get up. I'm on the ground in the streets in my hands in my face Too, man. Thanks, man. That's a great tune. That was rock. That, was, that was awesome, that. man. That was rock and roll right there. I loved it. I was sitting here watching Charleston band play real music, playing it the way you guys play it. I, I'm honored to be here, and thank you guys very much. And like next time I see you, I'll be holding a beer and I'll be listening to a lot more in one song. But thanks for letting me be a part of that. You yeah, guys. Darius, thank you so much for Absolutely. coming by, man. It's great, great to, to see, see you guys. Absolutely. Have a good one. Yes, yeah, take care. Good morning, y'all. Thanks for coming. We've been working our tails off. Everyone has. We're all short of people. We're short on time, and everyone's been working their tails off. So I want to thank you for that. Um, so I just want to go over a couple things uh, today uh, about the project. We got ten weeks to go. So the key is communication. Talk to one another. If you are in the same place and you're gonna and you're gonna be interfering, talk it out. One more thing. The fireplaces are historic. Tile is, is the marble. Some of the, the rails are original. These are from 1800. So I just ask you to be careful. I know it's tough, but with all of our, with all the very important um, historical stuff, be very careful around it. All right, y'all. Listen. Th thanks again. Y'all have an awesome day. Thanks. So coming from the music room, now we're in this corridor, um, which is really just a hallway, but we wanted to integrate storage into here and we also have plumbing because we're gonna be putting a sink here with a big antique mirror behind it and some with refrigeration underneath. Wet bar for the music room. Exactly. Come out. Refreshment. There you go. Yeah. Since the music room is going to be home base for my collaborations, I hit up my friends from CDW to see what they have to truly complete the space. 
Um, this is where Darius will be working on his music, and he has teams right now all over the country. So we're excited for him to be able to be based here in Charleston and work with all those teams while in the house. So we've actually got a 50 inch uh, Microsoft Surface Hub uh, that will be mounted anywhere in this room, wherever you guys would like it to go. Okay. Uh, as well as a Surface, gonna be basically a computer or a tablet okay. that will be on his desk. Darius will have everything that he needs from start to finish to host and collaborate with his teams anywhere that he is um, and anywhere that his teams are, whether in Nashville, uh, whether in Charleston, anywhere. Okay, so 50 inches, I mean, the only two places that could go is above the mantle or this wall here. And I think it would be best for it to go above the mantle because I don't want it to be seen right when you're walking through the door. So I think that location makes the most sense. All we need now is to get our guys in here uh, to mount it up and we should be ready to go. Awesome. While Betsy and the team work on the installation of final touches, I continue my exploration of the Charleston art scene by meeting up with world-renowned artist, Jonathan Green. Good morning. Hey, man. How are you? Good to see you, John. Mr. You Rucker. Doing, great to see you. I hear they call you D. They do. Do I, yeah. do I get to call you D? Yes, you do, man. Okay. This is the uh, series that I'm working on now. Oh. It's the Batu series. And uh, this is basically what things look like for me as a child, you know, growing up in the 50s and the 60s. What I'm trying to do is leave behind a visual record. Oh, awesome. People, culture, specifically my culture, my people, my experience. I'm not adding anything. I'm just painting the experience I knew as a child. Yeah. Come awesome. on through. I'm going to show you the studio. got to have a thriving art department in every school and it should be supported by the community. And no matter where you go in the world, the first thing that's pushed at you is the arts and culture. So tell me what you're doing, this fabulous project that yeah, you're, you've you know, embarked on. Redoing the whole thing, renovating the whole thing and trying to get back to like you know, the the mantles and stuff that just, that were built by that were built by slaves that were painted over for years. Just trying to get back to that stuff and really make it a, a great house. And you know, we got to have a great music room, and I want a lot of art in there. And so you know, I had to come by and see you. I mean, what, where do you think the the art scene is in Charleston right now? Char well, Charleston is an incredible place. It has always been a major art capital for like hundreds of years. The artists are trying to help people understand the richness of the culture here in Charleston, the diversity of the culture here in Charleston. Uh, we're really trying to help people understand the value of the culture, the significance of the culture. Yeah. And the only people that can do that in a sort of like a quick, movie version are the artists, you know, the yeah. performers, the singers, the visual imagery makers, the dancers. You know, it's, it's great for me to look around here and see how you've been so, so influenced by the Gullah culture and so many things in Charleston. I mean, I know I hear my music all the time in Charleston influence, but you know, how much do you think the city really influences you as an artist? The city is everything yes. about my being an artist. I say it to people all the time. <laughs> Couldn't be who yeah. I am without this city, without this culture, without the people, without the music, the food. Uh, uh, we are just poised at the right time to move into the next chapter of Charleston's history. I agree. I agree. And it's a pleasure doing it. It is. With you. It's a, it's a pleasure to be a part of this. I mean, just to to be here in this, the city means so much to me. And like you say, I tell people all the time, Charleston's everything, when it, you know, for my influence. So uh, I get it, man, and and it's going, it's going great places, I agree. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're here for a reason. Yes, I agree.
did not know how the music room was going to turn out, and for a while we didn't even know how it was going to function. Um, as we've gone through this process and we plastered the walls and added the technology for Darius, a lot of people love this room the most. So I'm really excited to show Darius. I never knew what I was meant to do. I never oh, so here we are in the music hall. I never had a silver spoon. I didn't go up in a castle. I never walked on the moon. I never played a Sistine Chapel. You know, this is used obviously as a transition, but we also wanted for it to function as a wet bar. Yeah. Also, this is all storage here, but we made it look like it's paneling. So here we have the really beautiful marble and we worked with Kohler on this. So the faucet, it's in polished nickel. And then we have this bar sink from Kohler as well that fits really beautifully. Oh, yeah. We have the wine fridge underneath. Oh yeah. And then we have the ice maker and, and fridge. fridge. So yeah. everything you need. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. So it all came together really beautifully. It is, it's beautiful. This is the music room. Wow. I never had a silver spoon. I didn't grow up in a castle. I never walked on the moon. I never paid a Sistine Chapel. This room is such a huge transformation. We started with nothing. I, I think it was brick walls, it was yeah, a vault. It was the vault, yeah. And so we built up the floor and now we've made it this amazing space. I think the plaster walls here really adds um, to the age of the house. Yeah, absolutely. This was done within many layers. So what, what's up with this thing right here? Our partners at CDW has given us this surface hub, which with Teams allows you to collaborate and have meetings remotely, all while in the comfort of your home. Oh wow, that's got like Teams already installed. That's awesome. What's that? Is that a call? I think we have a call. That's cool. Hey, John. It's John. Good morning. Good morning, Dee. Good morning, Betsy. Hi doing? there. How are you, man? Call from the Surface Pro. This is a very cool toy. It's going to make uh, some of our last meetings here a lot easier. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's good. I didn't have to travel all the way down there. Yeah, it's very clear. That camera in there is awesome. I can see you guys perfectly. CDW has done great with all the setup. You know, the team writing and stuff you do online, so, you know, this this is perfect. I can sit right here and don't have to, you know, <laughs> don't have to go anywhere. You know I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> well, y'all have, have a great one. Enjoy, all right, man. Enjoy, man. Glad you're, glad you're happy with everything. I'll talk to you later, bro. Bye. That was cool. That was that was awesome. That was really, it really cool. Was. Yeah, I mean that's gonna make life a lot easier for me. I love these chairs. Let's try them out. They're very comfortable. Oh, oh well, this goes way back. <laughs> Does this, it? This, I probably had this. I probably had that for thirty years. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's we just, awesome. We just found it and thought it looked cool. So yeah. That's awesome. And I think it's a great place to play guitar. You can just hear when you talk. You can have just that slight it echo feel, yeah. where it doesn't, it's not overbearing, but you know, music's gonna bounce off these stone walls. I remember when we came here, this, this room was just a vault. The floor was low and we didn't know what we were gonna do with it. And yes. This that, is just. This was the big question mark. Yeah, what we're gonna do with this time. room. And I mean, this is perfect. I mean, you know, I can't even recognize the vault. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't. <laughs> Everything about it is perfect. Everything says music. It's just exactly what I needed. From the man on the fireplace to everything, it's all about music. It's all, it makes me want to sit here and play. Time, why you punish me? 
Like a wave crashing into the shore You washed away my dreams Time, why you walk away Like a friend with somewhere to go You left me crying Can you teach me about tomorrow And all the pain and sorrow Running free Cause tomorrow's just another day And I don't believe in time